Okay, so here we go um, with our lesson on biotic relationships. Now we remember uh, the term uh, biotic factors in an ecosystem. Those are all the living uh, things in an ecosystem. So these are the relationships between living things in ecosystems. So um, there are three types of relationships between organisms. There's predation, symbiosis, and competition. And within these three types of relationships, sometimes there are subcategories. And we're going to go through these relationships right now. Okay, so first is predation. And this, of course, is when one organism eats another to obtain food. Okay, so um, this is a predator-prey relationship. Um, the prey is, of course, the organism that is eaten, and the predator is the organism that eats. And we can see an image here of a snake and a bullfrog. The snake is the predator, and the bullfrog is the prey. Okay, now this is very well known. Many of you will be very comfortable with this. Many of you will be very comfortable with this relationship because you've probably seen this when you've watched nature shows, etc. Okay. Next is symbiosis. Okay, and symbiosis is uh, a close interaction between two different species where members of one species live in, on, or near members of another species. Okay, so there are three types of symbiosis. So this is the second major category. So there's predation, symbiosis, and competition. Symbiosis is the second major area. There are three types of symbiosis, mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. So let's take a look through uh, these three types. Okay, so mutualism occurs when both species benefit. Okay, so here's an example. Shark and remoras. Okay, remoras are little fish. You can see one right here. Um, and the remoras will at attach themselves to the shark. They get transportation, they get food, they get protection. But the remora, though, it maintains the shark's health because it eats parasites on the shark's skin. So this is, this is obviously both things are benefiting from the relationship. Another example, the pistol shrimp builds a home for both the shrimp and the goby, uh, which is a fish, to live in. The goby fish has better eyesight than the shrimp, and so it can watch for predators. So while the shrimp does a little bit more work in um, building the home, the goby fish can watch out for predators and will and will warn the shrimp when something's coming. So this is a, 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 a situation where both are benefiting. All right, commensalism is when one species benefits, but the other species is neither harmed nor benefited. Okay, so there's, it really doesn't make any difference. So um, one, one um, idea is, is barnacles. So adult barnacles are sedentary, which means they don't move they attach themselves to a whale so they're able to they're provided with food and with free transportation to different food sources okay so um, the whale is not harmed by the presence of barnacles but it's also not it doesn't benefit so it just it just has them attached to it but the adult uh, barnacles they definitely benefit so another example is um, to obtain better sunlight an orchid orchids will grow on tree trunks the tree is not affected by the orchid's growth, but the orchid definitely benefits from, from growing on the tree. Okay. Last form of this is parasitism. This is where one species lives on or in the other and feeds on it. Okay, so one is definitely getting the benefit, the parasite is definitely getting the benefit, and the host is uh, not necessarily um, being helped and most of the time it's being hurt. So mistletoe, uh, when when a, a mistletoe berry comes in contact with tree bark, it sends out a thread-like root into the bark. The mistletoe plant attaches itself to the tree and feeds off of the host plant's food and water. Okay, so that's one example. Another um, 
kind of uh, parasite. This is a human parasite. This, this you can see Oprah and Dr. Oz, they're holding it. This is a tapeworm. Um, and they attach themselves to the insides of human, cow, and pig intestines, and they eat the partially digested food. Now, that robs the host of it, any nutrients because the tapeworm gets it all. Okay, so um, this is definitely a parasite. The third major type of biotic relationship is competition. And this interaction is between two or more organisms that are competing for the same resource within a given habitat. There are two types of competition. Intra-specific is where it happens within the same species, right? Intra, same species. Inter-specific between different species. So we see competition a lot in nature too. So here's a couple examples of intra-specific. Individuals compete with members of the same species, okay, for some resource. Elephant seals compete with each other for mating dominance, okay, and, and you can see that they'll bloody each other up when they compete. Um, squirrels, very common example, they compete with each other for food, um, even for habitat, okay. Now, interspecific competition is where individuals compete with members of another resource of another species for resources so oyster catchers will chase away gulls crows and ravens from their territory so they're very protective of their habitat so that's the top example and then the bottom example the kangaroo rat and various desert birds compete with each other for seeds in the desert and those are the three major types of biotic relationships predation symbiosis and competition